to utilize our precision second opinion and discover if Invita is right for you. Visit us at Invita.com. I was my baby, someone stole my baby By the way, my baby is my landscaping truck That was literally stolen from a job site Baby, won't you please come home? Owning a small business isn't always as lovely as it sounds But with 30-plus customizable coverage options Progressive Commercial keeps your business humming along Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com I love my sweetheart, by the way, that's my riding lawnmower Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Coverage and discounts not available for all vehicles or states. Policy terms and conditions apply. The Department of Homeland Security is deploying additional agents to the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas. DHS preparing for uh, an expected 9 to 14,000 migrants a day. That would more than double the current number of people crossing the border. And it's a move that comes as a COVID-era border policy, which was established under former President Trump and extended under President Biden, is set to end. CNN Senior National Correspondent Ed Lavendera is in El Paso, Texas, one of the cities, seeing an influx now. You, you, you've been covering this border for years, and you've been covering these surges for years. Uh, so, so here comes another one. I wonder, what preparations do you see being made there, and are they sufficient, or even close to sufficient, to meet these numbers? Well, I, I really, it's going to end up depending on just exactly how many people uh, start arriving at these border locations uh, if Title 42 is lifted next week. But we're starting to get a sense of what that could look like. If you see there in the distance behind me, that is the border fence. Just on the other side of that is the Rio Grande and into Ciudad Juarez on the Mexican side. And it's just there where uh, essentially it's been a gathering spot where uh, hundreds, if not thousands of migrants over the last few days have gathered. In fact, we've seen that here this morning as... Uh, Border Patrol agents have been escorting long lines of migrants who have arrived here uh, in the early morning and overnight hours, and they are being walked over to a processing center where some of them will be uh, sent back across into Mexico because of Title 42. Others might receive uh, paperwork and, and an immigration court date, but uh, all of this continues to happen uh, as this city in particular braces for the possible lifting of Title 42 next week. Sun fades away over El Paso. A large group of migrants stand on the border's edge, waiting to be processed by Border Patrol agents, while a few others tiptoe across a short path through the Rio Grande. These migrants are part of a major surge of border crossings seen in El Paso in recent days, and it's happening as the projected end of a Trump-era COVID restriction draws closer, ending the policy to swiftly expel migrants at U.S.